Their legal analysis is poor, their conclusions are misguided, their outcomes are dangerous, and that is a problem. California Attorney General Rob Bonta bracing for future decisions from conservative-leaning judges when it comes to California's gun laws. Following Thursday's Fifth Circuit Court of Appeals decision to strike down a law that kept people with domestic violence restraining orders from having guns, Governor Gavin Newsom said California may be weeks away from another federal judge striking down California's bans on assault weapons and large-capacity magazines. Are we prepared for a case to be brought to go in front of one of those judges and to have an outcome similar to what we've seen in the past? Um, we have to be ready for that. California leaders have repeatedly called on the federal government to pass stricter gun laws. When it comes to the courts, when it comes to a Republican-led House right now, and experts that observe, you know, at that level of government, just say that it's just, it's just not going to happen. And, and what, how would you respond to that? I see hope and optimism. People thought that the federal government would never get, be able to get a gun law bill passed again. They got one done in the last year. That is reason for hope. Is it the most robust, far-reaching gun law in the history of the world? It is not. But they actually did it. It took more than a dozen children dying for that to happen. And do you worry that it will take a, another horrible shooting another horrible tragedy for the national, for the federal government to act. I don't know what it'll take. Every one of these mass shootings, every one of these tragedies deserves action, deserves um, um, a response. And sometimes elected officials will act and sometimes they won't across the country. But in California, we're prepared to act every time. And Frank, we don't want to, we're not reacting. We're, we're proactive. We're preventing. We know what's possible. We know it'll happen again if we don't do something. In Sacramento, Ashley Zavala, KCRA 3 News.